What is up? Hey, we're in Madisonville, Kentucky. We were out looking at the Titan Stadium today. We were in Nashville. We were having a blast. And these guys, Legacy Telesales, Mr. Patrick and Mr. Jake, man, they said, hey, you guys should stop by. You guys should, should, you should, should see the office. Patrick and I have been talking, I think, some. I looked back like July of last yeah. year, yeah. literally like a year. Almost a year now. Yeah. yeah, and so we're here. We're seeing the operation. They said, hey, come by and say hello. They're excited about the conference, the tickets. Oh, They're doing gosh. telesales. I mean, how important is that and how rare is that where you find a legit telesales operation like this? Right. Where these dudes are doing it, man. They're up here on a second level above a baby shop, right. making it rain and selling over the phone. That's I right. love this. That's it's right. so much fun. So, Jake, Patrick, what, what, what got you guys What got you guys thinking in terms of telesales? I think I, think I know, but... Right. Well, for me, uh, my wife and I, we had a high-risk IVF pregnancy, so I had to learn how to work from home, how to sell over the phone. And so we uh, became really successful with it, and a lot of trial and error, and uh, then formed a partnership with North Star Insurance Advisors, yeah, which we're a diamond sponsor of. At the yeah, end. exactly. So, so really excited about that. But um, that partnership right there just changed everything. Now we actually have a telesales call center operation, which is the first of many, and just happens to be in our small town here. Like you said, above the baby shop, which my yeah. wife and I we own. So, uh, conveniently, we're upstairs here in the 2,800 square foot loft. Wow. We have six cubicles already built, and uh, we just want to keep advancing out. Uh, we can fit 30 total cubicles Dude. in here, Dude. And so we couldn't be more excited. Dude. It's a great uh, industry to be in. Right. It's a good yeah. guy to listen to, Thanks, where it's buddy. not about competition. Even though we're hooked up with North Star, we're not hooked up with yep. the, the man right here. Nope. But nope. it's about completion. It's about coming together. Yeah. and working together to, to sort of survive, so we're the 8%, right? Exactly, man, 100%, dude. Thank you very well said, buddy. So, when it comes to telesales, real quick, if you, you said there was, it was tough, man. It was right. a grind, it's not easy. No, like, it's definitely not it, easy. It's super rare for someone right. to just plug in and be able to just blow up on the phone. It takes right. some work. Sure. What, was, what, what was something that helped you get over that hump? Because there's a lot of agents out there that would love to do telesales, but right. they, they, they just need to get over that hump. Well, what's your advice to those agents? Well, you just got to have grit and tenacity, man. You just can't give up. And you got to be determined to make it work and just set a realistic goal for yourself so you're not beating yourself up. You know, at least get at least one deal a day. The way I see it, if you do one deal a day, you're going to make about 50 Gs a year, right? You yep. do two deals a day, it's 100K. So you just, you know, it's like eating an elephant a bite at a time. Don't get discouraged, rather. And tell yourself sometimes you have to encourage yourself if you're working by yourself. But the way that we set it up, we have a Slack channel, and we hook up together in there, and we encourage each other, and we challenge each other, and we shout each other out, and congratulate each other. So sometimes you still can build that virtual office, even though you're working from home, and collaborate and work together. Yeah, yeah, exactly, sure. exactly. Sure. Thank you, buddy. So Patrick, you guys, you guys are partners. Yes, yes. How did you end up in this, man? How did you end up with Jake? Uh, so when I met met Cody about a year ago, um, you know. You were doing field sales and telesales at the yeah, time. Yeah. And so um, you wanted me to go into field, but I couldn't do the field because I just had, I did some roofing sales and <laughs> I mean, I couldn't go knock on doors that much. So uh, I jumped in the telesales, I met Jake, and uh, since then Jake has, we, 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 we did the independent route, you know, but honestly to succeed in telesales, you are gonna have to buckle down, find a system, plug into some people that you do trust, and just focus, you know, you've got to, if you've got to, you know, lock yourself in a room, do what you got to do. Just get a deal a day, though, honestly, because it's not that hard. You know, keep your talk time up. If you're not on the phone, you're not making money. That's why it's called telesales. You know, um, no, no, no Scooby Doo stuff and all that. Watching TV while you're working either. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's just the truth of the matter. Is you've got to be on the phone. Um, you know, listen to this man's his content. You know, for my first three months, it was you know nothing but assassin on YouTube every morning. You know, always agree, always ask, you know, be agreeable. The trainees and grilled in me, you know, even though we're not in the same organization anymore, yeah. just 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes every morning, just do some training. You know, it's pretty easy to succeed here if you want it though, but you've got to want it yourself and nobody's going to hand it to you. Exactly, dude. It's so true, man. Super, super well, well said words. Patrick and Jake, they are, they're the American dream. They're starting off the Telsus operation, man. They're next, I, I, give, I, give, it I give it 12 months. These guys will have this whole thing full. 30 people producing million dollars, millions of dollars a year worth of final expense telesales. Right. It's possible. We received that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, bro. And you know what? 
Most people don't think big enough. Yeah. They don't take that leap. I mean, for these guys to jump in and do what they're doing, it's not easy, man. It, it, was, it wasn't like they just woke up yeah. one day and said, hey, you know, maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll think about it. You know, these guys took some yeah. freaking action. Yeah. They got Grant Cardone posters all over, all around here. Right. You know, right. success is their duty. Who's got my money? Got whatever my it takes. <laughs> these guys did whatever it took, man. That's they right. really did. And also, in closing, about about telesales, about Smith telesales, about That's getting right. over that hump. These guys will be at the Eight Percent Nation Conference. Am I right? That's right. Yes, We're gonna be there. They're gonna be there. They're gonna be listening to their buddy Vince Papanato from North Star. That's right. They're gonna be listening to their buddy GC. Hey, I'm G. They're gonna they're gonna be li they're gonna be listening to their buddy. I'm gonna even say it. It's the first time I ever said it on video. This video probably won't go up today. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Ray freaking Lewis, Hall of Fame Ooh. linebacker, Baltimore Ravens. Dude, Jake, Patrick, thank you, gentlemen. Awesome, awesome job, man. Go grind and get what you want. Go get your money. <laughs> <laughs> this is right, bro. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you.